Well, we used to live up in uh, the canyon, uh, Big Tonga Canyon, uh, in the cabin, last cabin up a dirt road. And we used to get our water from a cave, an old gold mine. And you have to like walk about half a mile up through the woods. And then the cave would be up 30 feet high. Well, it only took me about two times to take a ladder that far uh, to work on it. So I just left the ladder there. So I had the ladder up, go up to the cave. And in the fall, it would fill up with silt and leaves. So I'd reach over and just push them out. I'm going, well, that felt weird. So I climbed up a couple more rungs and I looked over the edge, a rattlesnake. Now, ordinarily the snake would have bit me, but it was molting. So he was just, he was more vulnerable than me. And uh, I've told the story that I went like, don't worry, little snake, you know, you're okay. You know, I understand, but it didn't. I just like kind of pushed some leaves over on him and considered myself really lucky. And uh, there used to be a skunk up there also, that after it rained, I'd go up and check the water thing, and it used to walk up with me. But it would only stay like three foot behind me. And if I stopped and turned around, it turned around and raised its tail up. It liked walking up there with me. I don't know what that was about. And I had a lizard, when I come out to play the guitar, sit there, he'd pop out of the rock, and I'd be playing some Hoyt Axton, and he'd be doing his little push-ups, you know? My theory on why the lizard came out is I think because there was lots of flies around, <laughs> gnats and stuff. He goes, oh, boy, here comes, here comes the smorgasbord, you know? But I love the canyon. The canyon is so missed. It is so missed. Uh, I really love the canyon.